So in the past, I had this drywall anchor as my favorite kind of go-to anchor for pretty much everything I used. It's this white thing that you spin in with a drill and they do work really well. But recently, I've discovered this other style drywall anchor that I actually do like better. In this video, I'm going to explain some reasons why I like this second one better. And we're going to do a test at the end with a scale, kind of do a battle of the drywall anchors to see which one holds up better. The results actually surprised me. Maybe they'll surprise you as well. This is Rudy from the Home Improvement Channel with another video showing you how to fix things around the house. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to this channel, consider clicking that subscribe button below and please like this video if it was helpful for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, just wanted to show you the plastic style right here real quick. You can kind of see how this works. You give it a little head start and then you hit it with a drill and it goes right in nice and flush right. I use these for years and I like them and I still do like them. Uh, but when you take them out, this is the uh, this is another hole that, that one left and it's a pretty big hole. You can almost, almost get your pinky through there. Just wanted to show real quick what this one does when you put the screw through it, how it expands in the back. All right, very cool. And here's the new style, kind of looks like an arrowhead like I showed you before. But this one you use a hammer, just kind of bang it on in there, right? But check out the little hole that it makes when you pull it out. Look at that. Just one little swipe of some spackle and you're done. But here's what happens when you put the screw through from the back. It's really cool. They come with these screws and you just put these in and it splits apart nice in the back. See if you can see that. Real nice. All right, so we're going to use that to do a test and see which one of these is better. Okay, I've got this thing set up with the scale here. Now, I don't know how scientific this is, but nonetheless, this is what I've got. It'll give you a reference of which anchor is holding better. But I've got, we're going to test the white one first, the white plastic one. I've got it tied with a string to the scale here. Okay, then I've got a strap on the scale, and then the uh, strap is tied down to the bench. Okay, so let's get started. All right, I'm just going to hold the scale here so that it stays stable. I'm not pulling on it, uh, so let's go ahead and uh, start pulling with the strap. Still holding pretty good at 26 pounds. About 40 pounds, still working good. Now that's getting pretty good, 54 pounds, and the anchor still looks good, I want 52 now. It's starting to move, 67 pounds, and I saw it moving already, but that's, that's pretty good. It's going to pop out any second. I saw a peak of about 90 pounds there. I think it's done. Still holding 80 pounds. It's ready to fall out, but it's still holding. All right, well, that was a pretty good test. I'd say that anchor was holding good. All right, so I've got everything set up exactly the way I did before. Um, the other uh, anchor was holding steady at about 54 pounds and at around 60 pounds, 67 pounds, it started moving and of course it broke free about 80 pounds or so, which is good because that's about what's advertised. Uh, this one actually doesn't have an advertised rating that I saw, so we're just going to see how it's, it holds up to the other one. Go ahead and start pulling. There's about 23. I see it moving there. 37 pounds and it's already moving. 
So it's 20 pounds underneath the other one. Oh yeah, it's looking bad. 50 pounds, so it's holding. I mean, that's pretty strong still. That's about 65 and it's still holding. I wouldn't want to hang a picture from that the way it's positioned there, but it's working. There's about 80. It's still holding. 96. Yeah, about 96, it broke free. I'd say that did pretty good. Okay, so that was a pretty good test, I would say, between those two. I was surprised to see that they both broke away at about the same time. Especially on the second test, I was nervous when it started moving kind of early as compared to the first one. I thought for sure that it would break away pretty early as compared to the first anchor. But no, it held its own and they both broke away at about the same time. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up and thanks for watching.